Well, just when you thought 2020 couldn't get any worse, there's a new type of insect here in the United States, and the sting is strong enough to kill a human. It's called the murder hornet. WJZ's live Kelsey Kushner with more on the invasive species and why they pose such a devastating threat to bees. Kelsey. Well, Vic, you said it first. Just when you thought things couldn't get any worse, now the country is dealing with this. Now, fortunately, officials say it's highly unlikely that that murder hornet is here in Maryland, but it has touched down in the U.S. for the first time. It's about two inches in size and has a venom so strong it can kill. The giant hornet, dubbed the murder hornet, is making a new home right here in the United States. One of the reasons why the Asian giant hornet is, is so frightening uh, is because of the sheer volume of venom that it injects with each sting and the fact that it can sting so many times. Dr. Samuel Ramsey with the U.S. Department of Agriculture says the invasive species, which originates in Asia, primarily preys on honeybees. He says these hornets can ravage an entire beehive in just a few hours, ripping the bees' heads off in the process. These wasps are very large. They're like armored tanks. Their exoskeletons are very, very thick. So just a few hornets, um, maybe a couple dozen, can actually clean out an entire colony of 60,000 bees. Dr. Ramsey says the threat to humans is what makes them so terrifying. Although they don't typically go after humans, their stings are painful and deliver nearly seven times the amount of venom than a bee. The hornets can rip through clothing and beekeeper suits and multiple stings can kill. When they sting, it releases uh, a set of pheromones that tells the rest of the hornets in the area to follow you and attempt to sting you. And so it's very important that you get away. The hornet was spotted for the first time in Washington state back in December. Scientists do not yet know how they made it to the U.S. The Maryland Department of Agriculture says they are continuing to monitor the situation and say it's highly unlikely the hornet is present in Maryland. Now, Washington state officials say that they have set up traps to try to stop the spread of this murder hornet. And Maryland Department of Agriculture says that if you see an insect that is suspicious, they want you to take a picture of it and notify them. Reporting live tonight, Kelsey Kushner for WJZ.